Now I don't need as a pretty back here, nothing I will do. This is the Lux second edition playing cards from JP Playing Cards, a design by Randy Butterfield of Midnight Cards. Uh, as you can see, the front says Lux. It's got black foil kind of debossing and also gold foil. At the very bottom, it says Premium Poker Cards. The black foil is sometimes hard to read. Also, there's a spade tip with a JP, which is JP Playing Cards logo. One is in gold. This one has silver foil because it's silver. Uh, nothing on the side except for the foil details. Actually, it does say, I apologize, produced by JP Playing Cards. It's very hard to see because of that color. Because it's black and black. Oh, crap. Oh, I apologize. Now you can probably see it better. On the other side, again, produced by Legends Playing Card Company. I'm guessing this is a diamond finish. In fact, it says that right here diamond finish, poker size. Diamond finish is apparently her best finish. And in the bottom, it says designed by Randy Butterfield. For JP playing card, something like Legends playing card. The back, well, you can't see the back design. Oops, zoom out. <laughs> and these ones actually are kind of a limited edition with these nice uh, holographic type seals. Really long seals, too. I mean, they go the whole length of the box practically. You can also get them without seals uh, for a little bit less. And then on um, and of course the seal says Lux and it's got some nice details on there. On the flap, more gold, black and silver. This one's gold and black, the other one's silver and black of course. Nothing on these flaps. Interestingly enough, the inside of the box, I don't know if that's just how they make their box, but it's kind of like a plastic coated, black plastic coated, shiny look to it. <laughs> Uh, we get to the cards. First of all, there is a poker hand rankings card. Uh, just pretty nice. Could be used, I guess, as a joker if you wanted to. Here's your back. It's basically the same as the original orange and blue decks, except that gold and silver. Nice thin borders. A lot of beautiful details and artwork. You do get one joker, only one. It says Lux in the two corners, joker in the center. Pretty nice. And then we get to the aces. The ace of spades, nice, big, beautiful ace. Says Lux, JP Point Guard Company. Printed by Legends Point Guard Company. This is really cool. And all the aces are nice and custom. Beautiful. Beautifully done. The court cards. Some customized aces, including custom colors, but they're fairly standard outside of that. Which is fine because it's meant to, you know, be usable for all sorts of things. Not, it's you know, it's not the custom deck, but it is nicely custom, customized. The borders, the colors, the pips, every little thing is custom. Hearts and diamonds have reddish colors. Spades and clubs, as you can see, have greenish colors. And actually, on all the number cards, the pips are customized. They're basically standard, but they have that nice little detail within them. And that is that. Of course, it has a diamond finish, which is a nice embossed finish. So it's an Eric Wilson finish. I'll just mosey on back here. Um, let's look at the other deck quickly. Obviously, everything is basically the same. The only difference is the backs have more of a grayish silver color to them. Let's do a comparison. So, there you go. That is that.
Well, I'll give it whatever I gave the decks last time. <laughs> I don't even know what that was. Um, handling wise, pretty good. I'll say four to five. Usability, of course, is good. I'll say four and a half out of five, just because it's very familiar with it, fairly standard. Um, style wise, art wise, it's pretty good. I'll say four to five, just because it's pretty standard. If it wasn't, I probably would have done better. Uh, so overall, I'll say four out of five. Pretty cool. You can get them on their website, jpplaincodes.com. Link will be in the description. I don't got any promo codes for them. <laughs> um, and I haven't seen any other sellers really selling these decks too much. Pretty limited. Once they're sold, they're sold. They might still have some of the originals left over. You can buy. They did have available bricks where you get four of each color. I think it was. Three of each color, actually. <laughs> um, don't know if that's still available. Anyways, that is that. Um, I like it. I think you should check them out. They do have another version coming out in a couple of months called the Palm. I think it was. Designed by Rick Davidson of the Origins Playing Cards. The idea with these Lux Playing Cards is you know, put out different versions created by different artists. Kind of using the same principle, same idea, if you will, for each version. So basically it's different artists giving their own take on the same playing cards and I think that's an awesome idea. And I look forward to the next version and I like these ones. We'll see what Rick Davidson does. So far it's looking good. I'll see you next time with more. Don't forget to check out collectible playing cards.com. Use Gito's a to get 10% off your order. Do it.